Incoming transmission. Picture this. A recording studio somewhere far, far away. Welcome, Watchers of Illusion, to my Castle of Confusion on the 21st of March 2018. I'm looking at an arcade classic. Well, I suppose it would be classed as a classic now. Um, but we are back with the pack, and I mean Pac Man in Pac Mania. Uh, great game, and I reviewed this on the Spectrum a while ago to see what it was like. Uh, I actually had the uh, Spectrum version myself anyway, back in the day, and it was even one of those big plastic cases. You remember the Spectrum games, they came in standard cassette size and they came in those, like the double cassette size as well. Well my Pac Mania came in one of those. And I was chuffed to bits because I very first played this on the arcade itself. While I was away on holiday with my mum and dad. As you do. And um, I was actually very taken with this game in the arcade, loved it to bits and uh, what's new? Well first of all the graphics, it's its now gone 3D, so we've now got a sort of a 3D Pac-Man uh, Pac board, uh, which looks very much like Lego bricks. That's right, Lego bricks, not Legos, because there's no such thing as Legos. There's no plural, it's Lego bricks, or Lego sets, and that's the official word, just so we get that out in the open. But you can see it's very smooth, very smooth indeed. Um, and it just flows ever so well. The animations are lovely, Pac-Man there going... Uh, chobbling his way around the maze, obviously with power pills as well, you can uh, eat the ghosts, but only when they're blue. If you try and eat them when they're their normal colours, you'll lose a life. Lives are shown in the bottom left-hand corner, your score's up in the top left, and the high score shown up in the top middle. Now, as you carry on, and you don't get jumping ghosts yet, by the way, um, as you progress through the game, the power pills affect the last um, a lot less time than normal. So you've got to be really quite careful about how you use them. Um, ghosts become a lot smarter as uh, the game progresses as well. Initially they will sort of follow you and then they'll trail off, but um, eventually they'll sort of change direction and come with you. Which if you're trying to do a jump in mid-air and get out of the way, can be really, really frustrating. Because you'll jump out of the way and they will just come and they will just follow you and be right underneath you when you land. So great stuff. You can see the ghosts are fairly intelligent as it is. They kind of have an idea of where you are. Oh, missed time that one completely, but never mind. But the biggest change to this is that you can jump. You are able to leap over the ghosts and uh, get yourself out of harm's way. Now, there's no limit really to how many you can jump over. Um, I imagine it. Oh, dear. I'm not very well at this, am I? Um, you can jump over maybe three in a row as long as they're bunched close together. You don't want to be jumping over them too much if they're spread out because you will just land on them. Now you um, you sort of have a little grace period before you can jump again, so it's not like you can jump then bounce again as soon as you land. You've got to wait for the little double bounce to finish as you land, then you can take off again. I suppose that just uh, makes it more of a challenge. And a challenge this game is, it's no it's no pushover, folks. Uh, it's nice that there's different uh, different boards as well, so different maps that you can uh, navigate around. The colours are really quite nice. The only criticism with the colours really is they could have maybe popped just slightly better than this. They are a little washed out, if I'm going to be honest. Um, I, and I'm not quite sure why, but never mind. It works. The purple one's Clyde, by the way. Not that makes much difference, but he seems to be the smartest of the ghosts. And has been Pac-Man's nemesis for as long as I can remember. Um, so yeah, they've all got, I think there's Blinky and all sorts of different other ghosts as well. They've all got names apparently. Uh, but Clyde and Blinky or Binky are the, are the only two that I can remember off the top of my head. Um, this game I think will keep you going for a while. It's got the replay factor. And um, there's multiple ways you can sort of try and get yourself around the board. I tend to go on a strict route as you can probably tell from the video. Uh, I've got my own particular... I'm not doing very well at this today at all. Oh dear. Oh no! Yeah, you're going to get three lives. So once your three lives are up, it's game over. Uh, but you can continue from the stage that you, uh, that you lost all your lives on. Your score will unfortunately get wiped. So you're going to go back to 
having a bog standard zero score when you restart your level, but other than that, that is not really a massive thing. There we go, Retro Revival Show in the high score table, and I'm ranked a fourth. That's not too bad, is it? So, I'm going to start again from here, and we're going to whiz our way around the map. I'll hopefully do a bit better this time around. Um, but if you're a Pac-Man fan, I think you're going to find this game to be very, very good. And I think uh, it's... I, I actually think this is better than Pac-Man... Uh, Pac-Land. I mean, that's that's maybe a bit of a controversial thing to say. But I guess I guess in the other way to look at it is Pac-Land was a completely different sort of genre of Pac-Man game. Because Pac-Man grew legs and was able to run across a uh, horizontal landscape. So that was... The, um, vertical. No, horizontal. And uh, obviously the jump was included in that as well. So, yeah, two different, I suppose, two different genres of Pac-Man game. This one's a maze game, and the other one was a sort of get from A to B type uh, affair. Which, yeah, I suppose you can't really compare them, can you? Never mind. But I've done a Pac-Man uh, Pac-Land review as well on the arcade. Somewhere in my video files, if you want to go and have a look at the arcade section, there will be one there. Also the Spectrum version as well. The arcade Spectrum and Amiga were kind of my era, really. So, in case you're wondering why I do more videos on the Spectrum, Amiga and the arcade, that's why. But I will be covering all these games on multiple systems, such as the C64 and the Amstrad. As well as, well as the Mega Drive Master System, uh, the NES, the Super Nintendo, all that. But I do tend to stick to my own era of gaming, which consoles I own. So the Super Nintendo is another one, and the and the NES, which I loved back in the day, by the way. Um, and also Game Boy. I should, did you think I should do some more Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, maybe? Because obviously those would be classed as retro now. Um, if you'd like to see some Game Boy, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance games, then you know, give me a shout. Let me know because I, I really like your feedback, guys. And it's great to have interactions with you, all of you guys that come along to my channel and leave me comments and, uh, and messages and. Uh, just want to have a come along and have a bit of a chat about retro leave me a comment I do get back to everybody that uh, comments so please leave me a comment and say hi and uh, tell me what your fondest memories were from the uh, arcades or from any of the uh, gaming machines and even if you've got any comments or suggestions on what games you'd like to see me review in the future leave me a list and I will put them down in my little book of retro and uh, get round to getting those sorted as well and I will also credit you in the uh, in the video, or I should give you a shout out in the video to say thanks for the recommendation. And uh, yeah, so come along and join in. Let's make this channel more sociable, which is great. But I really enjoy the comments you guys leave. And you know what? You guys give me some really, really good uh, info and trivia on the games that I review as well. That's also classic. Um, going back to this game very quickly before I sign off, um, the music as well is very good. Each level has its own separate tune. If it's the same map layout, it's got the same music, so you don't have to worry about... Uh... Oh, that was really good, wasn't it? I couldn't even move out of that, but never mind. Anyway, guys, music's great, graphics great, great game. I'll see you next time. You stay retro. Bye for now!